doesn't want to. The Biden border crisis is an absolute humanitarian disaster, and Democrats don't care. Last year, 853 migrants died crossing illegally into this country. Alejandro Mayorkas didn't even know how many had died because he didn't care. When I brought 19 senators down to the border, we saw a man who had drowned floating in the Rio Grande. Democrats don't care. Last year, thousands upon thousands of children were brutalized and sexually assaulted by human traffickers, and Democrats don't care. Last year, thousands of women were sexually assaulted by human traffickers, and Democrats do not give a damn. Last year, more than 100,000 Americans died of drug overdoses from Chinese fentanyl flooding across the southern border, and Democrats do not give a damn. Now, you may say, oh, come on, that's harsh. They care. They care. Somewhere in their hearts, they care about all the people suffering and dying. Baloney. Because if they cared, they would stop it. If you cared about the children being raped at the border, you would say no more. When Joe Biden came in, we had the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. He inherited success, and he deliberately broke it. Democrats want these open borders. And this bill, this mysterious bill, that is buried down in the basement of Chuck Schumer's office. All of you has a, have a living as reporters. Ask yourself, why have you not read the text of the bill? There's a reason. As bad as we think the bill is, I promise you it's worse. The people pushing this deal knew, no, if the American people knew what was in it, they would be against it. This supplemental bill is a kamikaze plane in a box canyon with no exit headed for a train wreck. If you look at this bill, the bill is not designed to fix this problem. By the way, the single greatest national security threat to America, this right here. I think the odds of a major terrorist attack in the United States are higher today than they've been any time since September 11th. You know what? In that spike, how many Hamas terrorists are there? How many Hezbollah terrorists are there? And what are we going to say when they carry out an attack here like October 7th in Israel? This bill is not designed to fix the problem. This bill normalizes 5,000 people a day coming in. 5,000 people a day is over 1.8 million a year. That's called an invasion. By the way, under Joe Biden, we've had 9.6 million. So the great Republican compromises were for two-thirds of Joe Biden's open borders. We'll let in 6 million instead of 9 million. This makes utterly no sense, and there's a reason. Republican leadership is like Charlie Brown with Lucy in the football. And over and over again, they run for the football, and over and over again, Lucy Schumer pulls it away, and Republican leadership lands on their ass. They entered this negotiation saying, we will only do what Chuck Schumer will agree to. He doesn't want to fix this. He wants it to continue. So negotiating with Chuck Schumer on securing the border is like putting Hannibal Lecter in charge of a Go Vegan ad campaign. He might dine on your liver with a healthy side of fava beans, but it's not going to remotely do what the suggested objective is. Final point. Not only is this bill utterly ineffective in fixing the problem, but it's designed to fail. The chances of this bill passing the House of Representatives, I can quantify it mathematically. The chances of this bill passing the House are 0.000%. It ain't going to pass. At lunch, we had a vigorous discussion at lunch yesterday. I asked leadership, why on earth would you be teeing up a vote with every Democrat and 10 or 12 Republicans that has no chance of passing the House? It's not going to become law, and I get it. Leadership really, really, really wants Ukraine funding. But that doesn't happen unless you get a bill that can pass the House. The only purpose of taking this up is giving Democrats political cover to say, gosh, we would have secured the border, but those pesky House Republicans didn't let us. It's a good talking point. It's complete baloney, but it's a good talking point. This bill represents Senate Republican leadership waging war 
on House Republican leadership. It's not designed to secure the border, and it won't secure the border. And that's why leadership wants it kept in secret. They don't want anyone to see the text of it. Republicans in the Senate ought to have the sense and sanity to say, secure the border, or else we're not going to go along with providing fig leaves to cover up the deliberate failure of Joe Biden and the Democrats. They have caused this crisis. We can answer any qu anybody's questions. Yes. Listen, I'm proud of the great state of Texas. I'm proud of our governor. I'm proud of our state legislature because they're stepping up and defending our state from invasion. Listen, the mayor of a bunch of blue cities, the governors of a bunch of blue states have declared illegal immigration emergencies in their states. That's true in New York. That's true in Boston. That's true in Massachusetts. That's true in Chicago. That's true in L.A. Eric Adams, the liberal Democrat in New York, has said illegal immigration is destroying New York City. That's 110,000 people are destroying New York City. I agree with him, but if 110,000 people are destroying New York City, what the hell do you think 9.6 million people are doing to Texas and the other states on the southern border? And so Texas is stepping up to defend our state. I'm glad we are, but the reason Texas is doing so is because Joe Biden and Chuck Schumer and the Democrats affirmatively want this invasion. By the way, you want to know why negotiating with these guys, why they're doing it in such bad faith? They are today, as you pointed out. Joe Biden is litigating against the state of Texas to try to stop Texas from securing the border. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. is the greatest friend the Mexican drug cartels have ever had. He is the greatest financial benefactor the Mexican drug cartels have ever had. He is the single largest human trafficker in history. Now, that may sound like hyperbole, but those 9.6 million people, when they come over and turn themselves in, they tell the Border Patrol agents, I want to go to the following city, and they pick a city. And Joe Biden puts them on planes and puts them on buses and sends them to every city in America, and Joe Biden is the last mile of the human trafficking network. So, yes, Biden is fighting ferociously to stop Texas from defending ourselves. He is wrong. But it shows that Biden wants this, and the only thing Biden wants next is to make Ron Johnson have to buy a bigger poster board because the chart goes higher. That's all he's looking for. Can you explain, you know, when you say Democrats want to 